Hello and welcome everyone to this video series on robot structural analysis. We look at the different features and functionality of robot structural analysis in this particular video series. We'll start off with the different modeling methods available in robot to model structures. And to start off, we'll look at the first method that we look at is the integration with Revit. So in case the designer has already prepared the physical model in Revit, the same model can then be imported into robot using the robot Revit integration. Now in order to use this integration, we need to install the robot structural analysis extension for Revit. We can download and install it from the Autodesk desktop app. Once installed, you can find the extension under the Analyze ribbon within the Structural Analysis tab. Now, before I translate the model, there are a couple of checks that I can perform whether my model is accurate or not. So, while the designer develops the physical model, Revit has this inherent capability where for all the physical, for all the elements which are defined as structural elements, you have this option of enabling the generation of the analytical model. So in this particular case, we can quickly check uh, for the column whether the enable analytical model property has been turned on or not. And same way, we can look at the other elements, the walls, the floor slabs, and we'll notice that for all these elements, this particular property has been turned on. Now, because this property was selected, what robot or what Revit has now been able to produce is the analytical model for the same structure. We can also check whether the model is connected or not by turning on the visibility of the analytical nodes. What you'll notice is the nodes have been color coded in a way. This is because we've applied a filter that for all the unconnected analytical nodes, they should be displayed with this red appearance. So we've made use of a filter which automatically allows us to determine which nodes are un unconnected and probably might require some level of adjustment. Now in this particular case, when we look at the model, what we realize is because these nodes are coming at the cantilever portion of the slab, and because there is no additional node that they are connecting to, that is why they are being read as unconnected node, which in principle is the correct behavior. So that is how we can check for uh, the unconnected nodes. Also, in case we require to adjust any of these nodes or we need to shift any of these elements, under the analytical model tools tab, we have the analytical adjust options. So whether it be the adjustment of your wall elements, any cutouts or any shaft openings that you define within the slab or defining the rigid links. In case we want to specify a rigid diaphragm, we can make use of these analytical links to specify the, the structural behavior between those two nodes or those two elements. In this particular case, since we are okay with what analytical model Revit has developed, we can directly go to the structural analysis link. And again, it gives us a couple of methods of sending the data from Revit to robot. The first method is in case both the applications are installed on the same machine. So we have a direct integration which automatically pushes the data from Revit to the robo robot environment. The second method is in case the designer who's preparing the physical model in Revit is working on a different machine and the structural engineer who will perform the analysis and design in robot is using a different machine. In this case, the designer can convert the data into an intermediate file format which is SMXX and then this file can be shared with the engineer who can then use this file within robot to pull the details. In our case, since both the applications are on the same machine, we can make use of the direct integration. 
Once I press OK, the data translation starts. And again, you can just quickly notice Revit transferring the element details. Once completed, it gives us a quick pop-up asking us whether we want to see the warning or events report. Uh, this gives us a quick way to identify if there were any errors or any warnings which happened during translation. Once done, we can switch over to robot to quickly check how the element was transferred. We can validate whether the element properties were correct, correctly transferred. So for all the elements, slabs, walls, you can quickly identify the properties have been reflected in the right context. So this gives us a very simplified way which streamlines the entire modeling process, reduces the time and effort. It reduces the duplication effort required by the engineer to recreate the model within the analysis environment. In the next video, we'll look at how we can use the native capabilities of robot to model structures. Thank you.